I still haven't figured out what this... I, like, don't get me wrong. I'm well aware of what... But, like, how did this start, and why is it now a thing? <laughs> what did I miss here? It like, two weeks ago. Like, yeah, two weeks ago, he just It was a spike in Molly. I know, but my question is, like, what... Why? <laughs> what is the genesis of what, and why did it continue and escalate? As I recall, he left a... The story is he left a voicemail... Somebody, he called somebody and they didn't answer, mm-hmm. and... He just started talking to them like they weren't there, and then he would occasionally say what when he thought they would say something. It was a, a funny joke at the time. And word around this voicemail got out, and he said, I'm going to do it on TV. And he ruined wrestling for a decade. He did, but what's funny is, like, it's really good <laughs> right now. Like, the yeah. fans haven't quite caught on yet. Unfortunately, they eventually do catch on, but it does add a lot to the act. And he is such an asshole, and I just thought he was fantastic yeah they got the they got the camera pulled tight on his face so it's just him and he's speaking to kurt angle but he's also speaking to you at home and he's asking questions and of course he's answering his own question and he's going what and every time he'd ask another question he says what again and um it was really good it makes him seem even more psychotic right like 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 a man who is starting to lose grasp of reality because he keeps hearing questions that no one's asking so he says, Kurt, you won't beg for these medals. You won't cry for these medals. That proves you don't want these medals. It proves you don't want my world championship belt. And he goes on for a long time. Finally, he ties those medals to a cinder block. He tosses that cinder block off a bridge, and Kurt Angle is near tears. And we go back to Austin. It closes up in his face again, and he just says, what? And it goes away. <laughs> he's so great. Yeah. And, like, he's... Every he just keeps escalating it. Like I want you to, I want you to ask for him back. No, you mm. must beg for them. No, now you must cry. I never seen a man cry as much as you. you cry when you win. You cry when you lose. And of course, like you know, part of the other thing about saying what is like Angle can't talk to him. He's right. on a fucking bridge somewhere. Yes, Angle has so, no mic. Yes. Like he's, you know, Angle could have said, "Can I have my things back?" He could have begged. He could have fell on his knees and cried. But Austin's still gonna throw the fucking medals in the yes. water anyway because yes. he's a dick. Yeah, right. Steve Austin is the greatest heel. I mean, it was a disaster, as we've mentioned a million times, but as a character, like the comedy, the serious, I mean, he's he's the greatest. So that's the end of the show. And uh, I believe this sets up the notorious Steve Austin belly laugh. Oh, thank God we still have. So here's the deal, everybody. So, okay. all right. This network's going to Peacock. Right. I know this because they alerted me when I tried to watch the show yeah. today. Yeah. So the network is going to work until WrestleMania. Okay. So you can you can start signing up for Peacock. You can get the WWE Network on Peacock. You can start watching on Peacock with this weekend. Okay. okay. But the but the network is going to remain for another month. All right. So for everybody asking, is this ending today? No. We've got like another four or three weeks or whatever. Now after okay. that, it's a fucking crapshoot. If you look at the WWE press release that they sent out about what's going to be available on the network, jack shit is going to be available on day one according to this press release. Now, okay. that's just what they said. Sounds like a bad press release. Maybe there will be more. No, dude, the press release was like, it said like every WrestleMania, the last year of Raw and SmackDown, okay. some Broken Skull sessions, like it didn't mention shit about archives or old, like nothing. I mean, it was a barren press release what they said was going to be there on day one. Now, maybe there will be more. But my guess is that this retro Raw review is going to end at WrestleMania. And then we're going to have to figure out where to go from there. So for the short term, this is going to continue through Mania because the network is going to continue through Mania. But I can't tell you what's going to happen after that. Because I don't know what's going to be there. Like, it would be fun to go back and do Clash of Champions I mean, I guess we could go back and just do all the WrestleManias or whatever. But, I mean, Retro Raw may be history for a while. Then I put the manhole cover back on, and I felt like a dad. (laughs) Remember earlier when we had Granny on, we were telling embarrassing stories? That was was one of my heroic stories. When I was 13, 14, I had a paper route. And I'm riding around the neighborhoods of Bothell on my bicycle, got the front and back sack full of papers making my deliveries and i am riding down this hill and i come around the corner and there's a young lady probably in high school age at the time but a mature woman to me at that point 
And she's decided it's a good day to be sunbathing in her bikini in the front yard. Oh, no. Oh, Vinny. Know those big mailboxes we were just talking about? <laughs> Bang! See, I knew where the story was going, and I'm <laughs> glad that that was what happened. Full speed. Oh, Vinny. The, the, my only, I'm, the only thing I knew at the time, I had a broad, flat surface. <laughs> this had been like an actual mailbox with points and edges. I may have died. Yeah. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.